considered as almost an overall mass builder for the triceps. Because what Sean's doing, he's got about 90 pounds, 85 pounds behind his head pushing it up. When you do this exercise, you can use this kind of a weight to good for him. Okay, take me on the build. Yeah. Woo. Outer head. It builds the outer head yeah, of, the of the tricep. Now this is something that I have a problem with keeping you a spot on. Because I normally don't go this heavy. You got Come it? on, baby. Just don't drop it on me. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll send a letter home to your mom explaining why you're not in the Olympia. Okay. You definitely got to be careful and have a strong workout partner. I know Kevin's already made mention that he'll start off with 85 pounds, but he's customarily working up to 100, 10, 120. That's fine and good, but I told him, it's not how much you press. It's what it looks like. That's the, that's the result. Good job. Come on. Let's go over here. Let's move right along into a tricep press down. Reverse grip. All right. Okay. Now, what head of the tricep is this head, Sean? This is basically the outer head. And usually when I'm doing it hard, getting ready for competition, there's no way. I don't have any room to talk, you know? So concentrated. Come on. I'm trying to bring out straight. Let's go. You can see how his tricep was developed. And uh, Sean is known to have a great arm. And uh, he's going to show me how he built his deck. Thank you. But I'm going to show you how I built mine. Okay? So I'm going to add some weight. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to add some weight, baby. Take me out. <sighs> okay. Damn. Very rarely will you find another bodybuilder in the pros giving out a whole lot of compliments. But you can't help but give out compliments to your competition because they worked hard to get there. I respect Kevin for even showing up for the workout because there's a lot of egos in bodybuilding. And we're both trying to win the same prize in bodybuilding. That's the Miss Olympia title. But there's room for everybody, I think. Good job. Let's go training hard as you go. Hard as you are training. Yeah. And show me no problem. Let's reverse our grip. Your dream, baby. Yeah. Let's reverse our grip. Well, this is where it starts, you know? Yeah. You can't play. When it comes to working triceps, you gotta add the weight. You gotta always have good form. Notice Sean's form is going down. He's squeezing that muscle every rep. And that's what matters. But again, he's doing it too light. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. But I'm learning, you know. So I'm gonna crank it up just a little bit. That's why you're here. Just a little bit, because I'm excited. I'm training with Sean Ray. Let's go. Yeah. Well. I don't know about you, Kevin. I've seen you in the magazines over the past two years. But remember, I've been there the last five. So, I <laughs> can't. I've been where you're going. We're both going to the top. Let's go. Good job. Now, the difference in that grip is that uh, when you go with the reverse grip, it's more of an isolated, concentrated movement. You can't use as much weight. You turn it around, you pack on the pounds, and that's when you're going to get the development on the tricep as far as size. So, the other one's basically for cutting and shaping. Let's go through this one more time. Hand me this 85. All right. All right. You know, you take a world-class champion like Sean Ray. This is a guy that I admire. And read a lot of his articles in the magazines. Of course, Flex magazine. For many a year, he's got experience on me. But I'm here to learn. Yeah. And I'm here to find out how good he is. Thanks. All right, baby. Yep. You want me to hand to you? Yeah, hand it for me. Come on. I'm so big and massive, it's hard for me to reach back there. <laughs> but with those shoulders, man, I'm sure you have a lot of other problems, such as buying clothes. Can't worry about that when you're in the gym. You gotta go for broke. That's right. Let's go. Let's talk and more walk. Let's go three more reps. One. Two. All right. Good All job. right. Thank you so much. Let's do some kickbacks. All right. Moving right along. We're going to move into some dumbbell kickbacks right here. Now notice how Sean is formed. He's got his arms out. He's again straight across parallel. And he's kicking back. That's the main thing. He's kick really back. Squeezing that muscle. Kick back hard and squeeze it. That's where you're going to get the separation. What? I'm getting a good pump. That's what I was just got. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now, how many reps you normally do? I usually get around 12. I usually stay around a 45-pound dumbbell. Uh, anything heavier than that, I start to lose my form. All right. And again, that's where the difference in poundage and shape and size come in is. 
No matter what you're doing, how much weight, form is what's going to develop the muscle. <laughs> Kevin's noted for his tricep development, as well as his shoulders. So that's one of the reasons we brought him down here today. And what he doesn't know is I'm going to use everything he's showing me here today against him. That's right. That's right. Fighting words. Fighting words. <laughs> Well, what we got? Ten more months? Let's go. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I got all I got all the time in the world. You know, I'm still young, you're young. And uh you know where to go but up. Let's go. Kick it back hard. The important thing is to keep the elbow stationary as a pivot point. Kick it back hard. Okay, Let's go one another one here. One more. I'm so excited about training with Sean. I don't want to leave. Come on, baby. Let's go. I might have to buy you a round trip ticket to train with me for a little while <laughs> for our next show. All right. Come on. One more. Sean, you're making it look kind of easy. We'll get you, you the hold back. Yeah, I'm holding back. You're holding back. Come on, let's go. Come 